Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about registry cleaners. We have tested 10 most popular free cleaners and I'm happy to present you the results and figure out what is the best one. Here's a list of cleaners that we have tested. Auslogic registry cleaner, C cleaner, eusing registry cleaner, JV16 power tools, AVG PC tune-up, Vice registry cleaner, Little registry cleaner, Jet Clean, Registry Fixer, Win Utilities. Quite a lot, right? Yeah, so we did a test to figure out what is the best one amongst them. We have created a test point on a number of different PCs and laptops, all running Windows 10, all not a fresh install. People have used these machines for a while, so there must be some quote-unquote junk there. Next, we have performed a full registry clean by each of the mentioned cleaners and measured the boot time before and after the cleanup. Yeah, I know, boot time is not the definitive indicator of a clean and correct registry, but we didn't come up with anything better. If you have a proposition, please leave a comment. So let's begin. First one is Auslogic Registry Cleaner. It fixed 1052 errors in the registry and surprise surprise made the boot time longer by more than 2 seconds. I'm not going to criticize it, I just give you the data. The program will group detected errors and issues into file associations, history lists, missing software, which is convenient. For the power users, it will be handy that it shows registry errors, locations that one can open right there and fix them manually. Pros. Totally free, easy setup, one-click fix, automatic backup available. Cons. Might install additional software if you're not keeping attention. Undeniably, CCleaner is one of the most popular free registry cleaners among users globally. In our test, it found 57 errors on average and made the boot time shorter by more than one second. Not a huge boost, but it is still good. Keep in mind that CCleaner isn't just a registry cleaner, it also can help you uninstall software and control which programs and services will run on the startup. Pros. Ignore lists, big set of features, regular program updates. Cons. Frequent pop-ups. E-using registry cleaner is pure and simple, it only does what it's supposed to do. On average, it found 4680 errors. This is the most errors found compared to other cleaners. So it is fair to assume that eusing does a pretty in-depth cleaning of the registry. However, in result, the boot time was longer by one and a half second. I agree, it is weird. But we don't know exactly what eusing registry counts as an error and how exactly it fixes it. Maybe it have raised some false flags. Pros are No license, totally free, compatible with older versions of Windows, multiple languages, portable version. Cons Insufficient data on registry issues after the scan. Similar to CCleaner, JV16 is actually a set of PC optimization tools that includes a registry cleaner tool. During our test, it detected 237 errors. After the registry fix and cleanup, the boot time improved by more than a second. Other useful tools included are History Cleaner, File Cleaner, Startup Optimizer, Registry Compactor, Windows Anti-Spy, Software Uninstaller. Free version works as a 60-day trial with full functionality. Subscription costs $11 per year. Pros are simple to use, automatic registry backups, lots of settings, cons, less user-friendly than other tools. A big powerful security software vendor has introduced this all-in-one cleaner tool, AVG PC TuneUp. It also comes with a built-in registry cleaner. We will focus on that. On their website, AVG claims that TuneUp will improve a boot time by 77%. That would be great, but sounds a little too good to be true, doesn't it? In our testing, after finding and fixing 115 errors, on average, the boot time was longer by half a second. Again, we have only run the registry cleaner, 
Maybe if we have gone through with all of the proposed procedures, the results would be better. But we are talking about registered cleaners now. Pros. Runs quietly in background mode. Rich functionality. Clean interface. Cons. No undo option. $50 annual license. A free version of Wise Registry Cleaner offers a lot. A cleaning scheduler, automatic registry backups, restore points, various types of scan. So we crank it up to max and run the registry cleaner on our test benches. The results are 860 errors found on average and boot time improved by almost 2 seconds. A pro version for $15 grants such extra features as multi-user access, system boost, tune-up and optimization, and different customizations. Pros Scan Scheduler Simplicity Clear Interface Quick Performance Cons We'll try to install other programs. According to its name, Little Registry Cleaner has very simple but functional design. No additional settings were touched and we rushed to fix the problem with our registry. On average, it found 361 errors. After fixing them, the boot time has been shortened by more than 4 seconds. This cleaner is absolutely free, available in 17 languages, and you can specify the folder for backups, certain files or folders as exclusions, as well as set a scanning schedule. Pros Actual freeware, open source, positive performance, easy workflow, Cons. Vague description of errors, possible slowdowns while cleaning, little guidance. JetClean has found 2598 errors on average and after a one-click repair all errors were gone. If you're interested in boosting boot time, JetClean has improved the boot time by almost 4 seconds, which is great. For additional features, there are a lot of small ones, such as automatic shutdown after the repair, scanning for specific issues, etc. However, few extra tools are missing, such as program uninstaller, startup optimizer, junk files cleaner. Pros Emergency backup, quick scans, nice interface, portable version. Cons some features only in pro version, unnecessary programs in the installer. Another free registry cleaner program that is bare bones, registry fixer. Easy and as straightforward as it gets. In a way, it is a good quality. You look for a registry cleaner, you get a registry cleaner. Nothing more. No ads, no license, no limitations. Just a clean program to start fixing errors in seconds. Speaking of which, on average it found 275 errors, which is not the most errors found in our test. But it did shorten the boot time by almost 5 seconds. If you value only boot time, then this is the champion of our benchmark. For extra options, there is only one, a backup before cleaning. Pros. Freeware. Detects traces of old software. Cons. Only basics provided. Last but not least is Win Utilities. The design of it is also simple and clean, yet a little outdated. But design is not what we are looking for in a registry cleaner. Main thing is performance. So, this registry cleaner found 4807 errors on average and fixed all of them after a few tries. This procedure improved the boot time by almost 4 seconds, still a very good result. Additional features are, you can also choose which areas to scan, make a restore point and export the log of errors as HTML file. Pros, good performance. Handy settings. Cons. Lack of advanced features. Now I present you our test results together for easy comparison. And I say goodbye. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and subscribe.